Leith Erikson. Leith Erikson or Leith Erikson, circa 970, circa 1020, was a Norse explorer from Iceland. He was the first known European to have set foot on continental North America, excluding Greenland, before Christopher Columbus. According to the sagas of Icelanders, he established a Norse settlement at Vinland, tentatively identified with the Norse Lons O Meadows on the northern tip of Newfoundland in modern-day Canada. Later archaeological evidence suggests that Vinland may have been the areas around the Gulf of St. Lawrence and that the Lons O Meadows site was a ship repair station. Leif was the son of Eric the Red, the founder of the first Norse settlement in Greenland and of Theodild, Theodhiller, both of Norwegian origin. His place of birth is not known, but he is assumed to have been born in Iceland, which had recently been colonized by Norsemen mainly from Norway. He grew up in the family estate Bratileth in the eastern settlement in Greenland. Leif had two known sons, Thorgils, born to noblewoman Thorgunna in the Hebrides, and Thorkel, who succeeded him as chieftain of the Greenland settlement. Early life Leif was the son of Eric the Red and his wife Theodild, and the grandson of Thorvald Rasvaldsson, and distant relative of Nadod, who discovered Iceland. He was a Viking in the early days. His year of birth is most often given as circa 970 or circa 980. Though Leif's birthplace is not accounted for in the sagas, it is likely he was born in Iceland, where his parents met, probably somewhere on the edge of Breitha Fjörther, and possibly at the farm Halkadal where Theothild's family is said to have been based. Leif had two brothers, whose names were Thorsten and Thorvaldr, and a sister, Freydis. Thorvald Osvaldsson was banished from Norway for manslaughter and went into exile in Iceland accompanied by young Eric. When Eric was himself banished from Iceland, he traveled further west to an area he named Greenland, where he established the first permanent settlement in 986. Tyrker, one of Eric's thralls, had been specially trusted to keep in charge of Eric's children, as Leif later referred to him as his foster father. Discovering Vinland Leif and his crew traveled from Greenland to Norway in 999. Blown off course to the Hebrides and staying for much of the summer, he arrived in Norway and became a herdman of King Olaf Tryggvason. He also converted to Christianity and was given the mission of introducing the religion to Greenland. The Saga of Eric the Red and the Saga of the Greenlanders, both thought to have been written around 1200, contain different accounts of the voyages to Vinland. The only two known strictly historical mentions of Vinland are found in the work of Adam of Bremen circa 1075 and in the Book of Icelanders compiled circa 1122 by Ari the Wise. According to the Saga of Eric the Red, Leif apparently saw Vinland for the first time after being blown off course on his way to introduce Christianity to Greenland. According to a literal interpretation of Einar Haugen's translation of the two sagas in the book Voyages to Vinland, Leif was not the first European to discover America, he had heard the story of merchant Bjarni Harjelfsen who claimed to have sighted land to the west of Greenland after having been blown off course. Bjarni reportedly never made landfall there, however. Later, when traveling from Norway to Greenland, Leif was also blown off course, to a land that he did not expect to see, where he found self-sown wheat fields and grapevines. He next rescued two men who were shipwrecked in this country and went back to Greenland, and Christianized the people there. Consequently, if this is to be trusted, Bjarni Harjolfsson was the first European to see America beyond Greenland, and the two unnamed shipwrecked men were the first people known to Europeans to have made landfall there. Leif then approached Bjarni, purchased his ship, gathered a crew of 35 men, and mounted an expedition towards the land Bjarni had described. His father Eric was set to join him but dropped out after he fell from his horse on his way to set sail, an incident he interpreted as a bad omen. Leif followed Bjarni's route in reverse and landed first in a rocky and desolate place he named Heluland, Flat Rock Land, possibly Baffin Island. After venturing further by sea, he landed the second time in a forested place he named Markland, Forest Land, possibly Labrador. Finally, after two more days at sea, he landed in a verdant area with a mild climate and plentiful supplies of salmon. As winter approached, he decided to encamp there and broke his party into two groups, one to remain at camp and the other to explore the country. During one of these explorations, Tyrker discovered that the land was full of vines and grapes. Leif therefore named the land Vinland. There, he and his crew built a small settlement, which was called Leif's Butter, Leif's Booths, by later visitors from Greenland. After having wintered over in Vinland, Leif returned to Greenland in the spring with a cargo of grapes and timber. On the return voyage, he rescued an Icelandic castaway and his crew, earning him the nickname Leif the Lucky. 
research done in the early 1960s by Norwegian explorer Helga Ingstad and his wife, archaeologist Anne Stein Ingstad, identified a Norse site located at the northern tip of Newfoundland. It has been suggested that this site, known as Lonso Meadows, is Leif Spother. The Ingstads demonstrated that Norsemen had reached America about 500 years before Christopher Columbus. Later archaeological evidence suggests that Vinland may have been the areas around the Gulf of St. Lawrence and that the Lonzo Meadows site was a ship repair station and waypoint for voyages there. That does not necessarily contradict the identification of Lonzo Meadows with Leifsbother since the two sagas appear to describe Vinland as a wider region which included several settlements. The saga of Eric the Red mentions two other settlements in Vinland, a settlement called Stromfjordr, which lay beyond Kalarn's promontory and the Wonder Strands, and one called Hop, which was located even farther south. Personal Life Leif was described as a wise, considerate, and strong man of striking appearance. During his stay in the Hebrides, he fell in love with a noble woman, Thorgunna, who gave birth to their son Thorgils. Thorgils was later sent to Leif in Greenland, but he did not become popular. After Leif's first trip to Vinland, he returned to the family estate of Bradalith in Greenland, and started preaching Christianity to the Greenlanders. His father Eric reacted coldly to the suggestion that he should abandon his religion, while his mother Theothhildr quickly became a Christian and built a church called Theothhild's Church. Leif is last mentioned alive in 1019, and by 1025 he had passed on his chieftaincy of Eris Fjordr to another son, Thorkel. Nothing is mentioned about his death in the sagas, he probably died in Greenland sometime between these dates. Nothing further is known about his family beyond the succession of Thorkel as chieftain. Legacy Norse in Medieval Europe Leif's successful expedition in Vinland encouraged other Norsemen to also make the journey. The first apparent contact between the Norse and the indigenous people, who the Norse later referred to as Skrillingjar, was made by his brother Thorvald, and resulted in hostilities and killing. In the end there were no permanent Norse settlements in Vinland, although sporadic voyages at least to Markland for forages, timber and trade possibly lasted for centuries. The casual tone of references to these areas may suggest that their discovery was not seen as particularly significant by contemporaries, or that it was assumed to be public knowledge, or both. Knowledge of the Vinland journeys might have spread around medieval Europe, as writers such as Adam of Bremen made mention of remote lands to the west. It has been suggested that the knowledge of Vinland might have been maintained in European seaports in the 15th century, and that Christopher Columbus, who claimed in a letter to have visited Iceland in 1477, could have heard stories of it. Travels and Commemoration Stories of Leif's journey to North America had a profound effect on the identity and self-perception of later Nordic Americans and Nordic immigrants to the United States. The first statue of Leif, by Anne Whitney, was erected in Boston in 1887 at the instigation of Eben Norton Horsford, who was among those who believed that Vinland could have been located on the Charles River or Cape Cod, not long after. Another casting of Whitney's statue was erected in Milwaukee. A statue was also erected in Chicago in 1901, having been originally commissioned for the 1893 World's Columbian Exposition to coincide with the arrival of the reconstructed Viking ship from Bergen, Norway. Another work of art made for the 1893 World's Columbian Exposition, the painting Leif Erikson up to Germerica by Christian Kroak, was in the possession of a Leif Erikson Memorial Association in Chicago before being given back to the National Gallery of Norway in 1900. For the centenary of the first official immigration of Norwegians to America, President Calvin Coolidge stated at the 1925 Minnesota State Fair, to a crowd of 100,000 people, that Leif had indeed been the first European to discover America. Further statues of him were erected at the Minnesota State Capitol in St. Paul in 1949, near Lake Superior in Duluth in 1956, and in downtown Seattle. The sagas do not give the exact date of Leif Erikson's landfall in America, but state only that it was in the fall of the year. Dot at the suggestion of Christian A. Hone, Edgerton, Wisconsin, 9th of October was settled upon, as that already was a historic day for Norwegians in America, the ship restoration and having arrived in New York Harbor on October 9, 1825 from Stavanger with the first organized party of Norwegian immigrants. In 1924, a party of four consisting of a Swede, an Englishman, and two Americans attempted to emulate Ericsson's voyage in an eponymous 40-foot vessel but were lost after reaching the west coast of Greenland.Colon 267. 
In 1929, the Wisconsin legislature passed a bill to make 9th of October Leif Erikson Day in the state. The bill was signed by Governor Walter J. Kohler, Sr. that May. In 1964 the United States Congress authorized and requested the President to proclaim 9th of October of each year as Leif Erikson Day. In fiction, Leif is the main character in two novels called Vinland the Good, and the 1928 film The Viking. Leif is one of the main characters in the Koto Yukimura's Manga Vinland Saga. Characters in the Koto Yukimura's Manga Vinland Saga. 